Teranap TP Geo membrane is available in two widths, 2 meters and 4 meters. Use a propane gas torch, nose diameter of 80 millimeters, for welding the overlaps. To apply uniform pressure to the weld, use a roller of 15 to 20 centimeters wide and of a 10 kilogram weight. In applications where heat-sensitive materials are installed under Teranap TP, for example anti-puncturing geotextiles, a strip of Vericran 100 glass fiber mat, 50 cm wide, should be laid directly under the overlap to provide protection against the naked flame. In applications of Teranap TP 2 meters wide, the side overlaps should be 15 centimeters wide. In applications of Teranap TP 4 meters wide, the side overlaps should be 20 centimeters wide. It is a common practice to position the rolls with the correct overlap distances prior to welding. To execute the weld, lift the upper strip and heat both parts of the connecting membrane, assuring that heat is strong enough to melt the bitumen to allow for correct and full bonding. Heavy rollers should follow directly after the hot weld so that the bitumen does not start to solidify. End overlaps for both Teranap TP 2 meters and 4 meters should be of a width of 20 centimeters. Notice here how the rolls are layered in a staggered fashion. This is in order to achieve a maximum of three overlapping joints. This will prevent the common problem associated with four overlaps converging in one joint. The concrete surface of the upstands should be primed with a bitumen primer, preferably Cyplast primer supplied by Cyplast. For detailing and intricate areas, a smaller torch of 45 mm is easier to use. Cut the strip so that the membrane can be placed in the corner. When fixed, the horizontal section should be minimum 15 cm thick from the upstand. Cut at a 45 degrees angle to shape a three dimensions square angle. Place the shaped piece in the desired angle. Start by welding the vertical and then move on to the horizontal. Finish the details by ironing out with a trowel, ensuring that the underfacing film is melted for subsequent fusing of the surfaces. The concrete surface of the upstands should be primed with a bitumen primer, preferably Cyplast primer supplied by Cyplast. 
For detailing and intricate areas, a smaller torch of 45 mm is easier to use. Cut the strip so that the membrane can be placed in the corner. When fixed, the horizontal section should be at least 15 cm thick from the upstand. Start by welding the vertical and then move on to the horizontal. Finish the details by ironing out with a trowel, ensuring that the underfacing film is melted for subsequent fusing of the surfaces. The concrete surface of the upstands should be primed with a bitumen primer, preferably Cyplast primer supplied by Cyplast. For detailing and intricate areas, a smaller torch of 45 mm is easier to use. After application onto the vertical surface, Press the membrane with a trowel or wet cloth. At each head of the membrane, mechanical fixings are required at intervals of four pieces per linear meter. A metal strip is mechanically fixed at the head of the Terranap membrane. A bituminous mastic cord, Cyplast Mastic P12 type, is applied at the top edge of the metal strip. In case of damage to the applied membrane, repairs are easy to administer by cutting a patch of Terranap TP and welding over the damage. Cut a patch that covers an area of 15 cm radius around the damage. Weld the patch with a 45 mm diameter torch on a soft flame. Use the trowel to position the patch directly in the center over the damaged section. Press the edges down while torching the patch onto the membrane. Use the trowel to seal the edges of the repair with the excess melted bitumen that protrudes from the sides of the patch. This method of damage repair is quicker, easier and cheaper than using pre-cut patches and glue. By using patches cut from Terranap TP, the necessity for extra tools and materials delivered to site is eliminated. Where tube outlets will be installed, the Terranap TP geomembrane will be welded in the same way as indicated in the chapter Connection to a Vertical Concrete Work. Before welding, the concrete surface and the tube's surface will be primed with an elastomeric bitumen primer, preferably Cyplast primer supplied by Cyplast. Cut a square-shaped piece of Terranap membrane with dimensions corresponding to the perimeter of the tube plus 15 cm for overlapping. Position this piece around the tube and make an overlap onto the Terranap geomembrane, already laid on the slope, with an overlap of 20 cm wide minimum. Weld the upper face of the membrane with a soft flame. Use the trowel to seal the edges of the repair with the excess melted bitumen that protrudes from the sides of the piece. Weld this piece also around the tube which has been primed with a bitumen primer, preferably Cyplast primer. Use a tightening strap with a foam strip between the tube and the strap.
pass a guide pin or the end of the trowel along the weld. In places where there is no excess melted bitumen that protrudes from the sides along the overlap, press the membranes together with a heated trowel or iron and manipulate the melted bitumen into a chamfer. If the overlaps are not fully and correctly bonded, the compressed air will lift the uppermost membrane and slightly inflate. This gives a very good indication of areas that are not welded correctly. A cross-section of the weld is investigated by cutting a perpendicular sample piece across the joint. The size of the cut should be 15 to 20 centimeters and it should be avoided being taken from sensitive areas. Check that the overlap including the two layers is fully welded without any empty space. <laughs> 